These episodes are intended for mature audiences. Viewer and listener discretion advised. All right, guys. Hi, welcome to another episode on Stories of a Dandelion. Today, I'm starting a new segment called Tea Time. And today, you guys are my guest. So thank you for coming on with me and listening to today's podcast and what I have to say. Now, with this segment, it is going to be surrounded by the things in society that affect us and how it can affect us. Today, I can talk, I'm going to talk about how a fast-paced life and a fast-paced society that we live in can make you feel like a footnote. Now, what does that mean, right? Let me give you the definition of a footnote first. By the way, throughout this episode, I'm going to be referring to my notes because I really thought this one out and I really wanted this to be one of not just off the cuff, but written out and well told, I hope. So here it is. What is a footnote? A note of reference, explanation or comment usually placed below the text on a printed page. Now you're thinking, what does that have to do with you? Well, here it is. You are not a reference or a comment in someone else's story. You are not placed below because you deal with anxiety, depression, or loneliness, and anything else that has to do with mental health. You are the main character. This life is your life and your story, and it has a purpose. You have a purpose. You were created to be on this earth on purpose. You're not created to live a small life. You're not created to believe or assume that good things in your life can't last. Now, just because things in this world are fast paced, it doesn't make you a footnote. I think a lot of us believe because of everything that's going on in the world, everything that's going on in our, the lives around us, the fact that we have the whole world in our hands and we can get news from around the world in 10 seconds. We believe that whatever we're going through is just a footnote. But the truth is, it's not. You're the main character. You're the main character of your own story. And when you interact with other people, I can understand why that feels like your footnote, because maybe you have friends for this amount of time, or maybe you've been with somebody for this amount of time, or maybe you're not as close with your family as you usually do, so you don't spend as much time with them, so you start to feel like a footnote. But the truth is, in every single one of those scenarios, you meant something to that person. Rather it's platonic, family, or romantic, you mean something to those people. And that makes you a main character. And I'm saying this because we can, a lot of times when we feel like a footnote in somebody else's story, we can start to become a footnote in our own story. And I know that happened for me because being a military brat and having people move away from me and, and go to another state or go to a state or go to another country, I would think that was a footnote. You know, a lot of my friends would only be there for a year or two. You know, some of the people, especially in my early years of elementary, not a lot of my friends were sticking around. A lot of people were moving or coming back and different things like that. And you can feel like a footnote in somebody's story when you don't get the opportunity to fully develop a friendship in the way that you want it to. And so, I started to feel like a footnote in a lot of people's stories around me. But the truth is, as I continue to do these episodes, I realize how much of a main character we all are, or and we all were, in each other's stories. And how much us being there and supporting one another really changed the trajectory of our lives. And it started making me think that I needed to stop acting like a footnote and started acting like a main character even in my own story. I think when we deal with anxiety and depression or loneliness, we can feel like there's nothing we can do about it. We can't change it, it is what it is. But that's not true. 
we are able to change the anxiety, the depression, and the loneliness. Now, I know there are some people out there who deal with anxiety and depression to a clinical, um, to a clinical extent. And in those cases, definitely always talking to a therapist, definitely you know, taking the medicine that you need so that you can get out and go be who you want to be in this world. I definitely believe that. Go, get a th go to therapy, take the antidepressant, take the anxiety medicine, because those are the things that, and I don't want to say, because somebody's going to say it helps you be normal. No, those are the things that helps you be uniquely you. It helps you go out and be a main character in your story, and it helps you go out and help somebody else who's going through the same thing that you are, or just help somebody on a very sad day. And I think we lose sight of that when we, when we, we look at our lives. We, we lose sight of the truth and who we are meant to be in this world. We all were created for a purpose and we were all created with purpose. So nobody's here on accident. Everybody who's on this earth is meant to be on this earth and everybody who, who's on this earth has a purpose. So that automatically makes you the main character. So what I wanna start talking about with this particular series, which is called Stop Living to Be a Footnote, you're not a trend. Actually, I'm sorry, flip that around. <laughs> you're not a trend. Stop living to be a footnote. Is I wanna talk about the ways to have a secure mindset. And I've really been studying this. I've really been getting into this and figuring this out. And there's a couple of different ways of having like how to build a secure mindset. Now I'm not saying in having a secure mindset, like as soon as you get it, like all your problems are gonna go away. No, in having a secure mindset, you're able to realize the emotion that you ha are having, confront it, and then deal with it, and then continue on with your life. I think, um, which I'm, I included, we get very stuck in our emotions when they come and it makes us completely shut down. We're having a secure mindset. We can acknowledge the emotion, figure out where it's coming from and why it's happening, and then deal with it and start to heal, either talk to a therapist about it, talk to a friend, a family member about it, and then figure out the next steps. And that's what I mean in having a secure mindset. So there's four things that are needed to have a secure mindset. Number one is your in crowd. I'll talk about that next week. Number two is space to grow. Number three is sharing your values. And number four is challenging the status quo. Now, by the end of all these, I, I know they're gonna, I hope they make sense. <laughs> and I want to also just bring other people's opinions into, not opinions, but other people's knowledge into this subject of having a secure mindset. So there will be plenty of guests to come on and have this conversation about different things in society that are affecting us. And so as we know, this is a broad thing of a fast paced world. So after I give you the four things that are required to have a secure mindset, we're gonna go a little bit deeper into specifics of the different things in society that may affect us. And we're gonna talk with different people to see the different ways of how, well, this happened and well, this is how I dealt with it, but there are also blank, blank, blank ways to dealing with it as well. So these are, you know, they're not gonna be as long of videos. They're gonna be a little bit shorter. And I think these are like a little quick, quick things like tea time. Tea time is not always like, you know, there's no time limit, I guess. Yeah, there's no time limit to tea time. So some of them may be 40 minutes, some of them may be 30 minutes, and some of them may be 10 to 15. It just all depends on the subject and who is talking and, and how long we're, we're wanting to have this conversation. But I am so happy that you guys joined me today for this very first episode on tea time. I am so excited to just reveal this segment to you guys, and I cannot wait 
to just see what comes with the segment. So yeah, get ready for 10 to 15 minutes more likely of, of part of the segment, but there's a possibility for a 30, 40, so be on the lookout. And I just hope that you guys are having a really good week. And this week, what I want you guys to focus on, like focus on being the main character in your story. Cause you were born with a purpose and you were created with a purpose. So don't live like a footnote. You are far more valuable and worthy than to be a footnote in anybody's story, especially your own. So this week, we're gonna be in the main character. Not in a vicious way, in a nice way, in a sweet way, um, in a way that you are serving others, not out of scarcity, scarcity, but you're serving others out of abundance. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. Um, if you guys really like these, let me know. Uh, I put down below, I ask questions of like what topics that you guys want us to talk about or me to talk about. So definitely comment them down below. And if you like these short type of videos uh, for tea time, definitely let me know down below. And again, thank you all for joining me. Thank you for being my first guest on the Tea Time segment. And I will see you all next week for part one of You're Not a Trend, Stop Living Like a Footnote. Love you guys, and I will see you all next week. Peace. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in for another episode on the Stories of the Dandelion podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please go and share it with a friend, a colleague, or even a family member. And make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms so you can stay up to date on when the episodes are coming out and what is involved in each episode. Thank you again for tuning in, and I will see you all next Military Brat Monday.